Hey guys, what is good? Derek here from Bomb Socks with another day of Bomb Bites where we feast upon the words of Christ one bite at a time. So I want to get into a topic today that I think everybody will appreciate the concept of every person watching this has lost something at some point. Whether it's a set of keys, whether it's a wallet, whether it's your right shoe before church on Sunday, right? It is frustrating to lose something. You're searching everywhere. And it's, like I said, it's something I think we all understand the concept of. Well, let me remind you of a verse. Now, this is later on in Luke, but it sets up where we're going over the next couple days. It's Luke chapter 19, verse 10, which says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. And I've actually put that right above. I've linked it to Luke chapter 15, which has three parables we're going to go over over the next couple days. Now, the context of this parable, is you look at verses 1 and 2, it says, Then drew near unto him all of the publicans and sinners for to hear him. You got the tax collectors and those who have been kind of social outcasts because they are sinners, right? Which all of us. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured saying, this man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. So here's the context with this. And Jesus turns right to them and starts sharing wonderful parables with them. For example, he starts with verse number three and it says, he spake this parable unto them saying, what man of you having an hundred sheep? Now we, we spent some time talking about sheep last week with a good shepherd. I think we've established the fact that sheep are dumb. Okay, that's us, right? Sheep do dumb things. They're nervous. They're anxious. They're following the crowd or following something. They're stubborn, right? Again, nothing to do with us, right? So which man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors saying unto them rejoice with me for I have found my sheep which is lost so as I started thinking about this what causes sheep to get lost right sheep wander maybe it's out of curiosity maybe it's wondering what is over there on the other side of the pasture maybe again it's fear it's all kinds of different things that cause sheep to get lost let me remind you how the savior described you and i like i said here all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way so sheep the way sheep get lost is they generally wander or they are scared or something like that right now let me take you before i get into the rest of that the end of the next parable now which is the parable of the lost coin or the lost piece of silver verse 8 Either what woman, having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle, sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it? And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the piece which I have lost. Now, just a couple of things here with this. Uh, footnote 8a says this is a drachma, which is a silver coin equal to the Roman denarius, which is a workman's daily wage. I think, honestly, if you lost a day's worth of wages, I think you totally go after it, right? But what causes coins to get lost? I started making a little bit of a list here. They are lost through negligence. Sometimes they just fall through holes. You might have a hole in your pocket. That's how they fall out. Misplaced or forgotten, or they are also of no value to the person. Okay. So this is a little bit different than sheep. You're going to see as Jesus goes through this, he talks about the various ways that people or things or sheep or whatever are lost. So here is the question. Why would someone go after after one lost sheep when they have 90 and 9 that are safe. Why would someone go light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently for one coin when they already had nine? Well, there's a cool principle here. You go into verse number seven. This is Jesus' ending to the parable of the lost sheep. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Now you go down to verse number 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. So remembering the context here, how Jesus is hanging out with publicans and sinners and the Pharisees and the scribes, like, why is this guy hanging out with sinners? He's like, let me tell you. So you go back to that verse number 10, where you've got that word sinner, you click on it and it says worth of souls. 
first thing I think of automatically is Doctrine and Covenants section 18, verse 10, that says, remember the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. Now that as a standalone verse is amazing, but we forget that there are several verses right after that. Verse 11, right after that, for behold, the Lord, your redeemer suffered death in the flesh, wherefore he suffered the pain of all men, whether you are a publican, whether you're a sinner, whether you're a scribe, you're a Pharisee, that all men might repent and come unto him. And he hath risen again again from the dead that he might bring all men unto him on conditions of repentance and I love this how great is his joy in the soul that repenteth wherefore you are called upon to cry repentance unto this people and if it so be that you should labor all your days in crying repentance unto this people and bring save it be one soul one sheep one coin however you want to look at that unto me how great shall be your joy with him in the kingdom of my father. And now if your joy will be great with one soul that you have brought unto me into the kingdom of my father, how great will be your joy if you should bring many souls unto me. So I would submit to you, and this is something I believe very strongly about, it is never just one sheep. It is never just one coin. They all work together. I, I think of Abinadi, a wonderful Abinadi, who really only had one convert. And I believe that convert, Alma, has done a lot of good stuff, right? So it's never just one one thing. So that's why the one is so important to the Savior. He works with people one on one. He works with one sheep. He works with one coin. Regardless of how they get lost, he's going to encourage us to find them. I think there's a great principle for you and I when we have that one person. One person makes a huge difference and sometimes you are that one person. But I love what is taught here. Now tomorrow we're getting into a different kind of lost, but I think the result might be the same. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks as always for sharing. We love that you do that. And please go check out our amazingly comfortable gospel theme socks at bombsocks.com. You guys have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Godspeed. Bye-bye.